with this mask on, um, I'm kind of like, and other people, both male and female, are kind of like uh, veiled women in Arab or Muslim cultures, you know, where they hide their face. And um, this practice is mandatory in some countries and banned in other countries. Some Western countries have out actually outlawed the face veil. Um, you, you know, for various reasons are given for outlawing it. And in some, whereas in some Muslim countries, it's mandatory. So there is a real thing about face veiling. Now, the one thing that's often given as the reason for it is, you know, that having somebody's face veiled um, makes identification impossible and therefore it makes things dangerous. You know, people have gone into um, banks and robbed them um, with inside burqas or something similar. Now these were, of course, not Muslim women. They were, you know, male criminals who were just wearing those, those things in order to disguise their appearance. In order to, you know, disguise their appearance. But one thing I've always wondered about it is if you're going to ban uh, the face veil, what do you do about people who might be men as well as women who have some sort of problem on their faces? What about people who are deformed or terribly scarred and they want not to shock or offend children? Shouldn't those people be allowed to cover their faces? Uh, the elephant man, uh, Joseph Merrick, when he went out in public, when he wasn't being exhibited, he would usually put something over his head with, you know, some holes out for the eyes to, you know, disguise his appearance, to not disguise his appearance, they knew it was him, but so as not to cause, you know, shock. So there seems to be a real problem there. Now, another reason, though, for banning the face veil has to do with the idea that these are cultures in which gender equality is a value. Okay? Now, um, and the face veil seems to be the most obvious um, sign of that women are under male control. But does it necessarily mean that? Um, I have heard that there are women who, you know, do, do face veiling because of their own, you know, spiritual beliefs or because they believe that it provides them protection from street harassment or because they think um, if you can't see their pretty faces, then you have to judge them as people based on their character. So, you know, there's all kinds of reasons. And um, I just, I'm not taking a position on it. I'm just putting some things out there as food for thought. Hope you liked hearing that.